Good evening, everybody. Happy Easter. So, today, we got something special planned. Today, we're going to be playing as the Laughing Sawfish herself, U96. So, if you will give me one second to batten down the hatches, I will be right back. All right, all ports sealed, we are ready to submerge. So, U96, yes, the legendary U96. We are going to be playing as her today. I've uh, been trying and failing to play uh, U46 as, uh, you know, the, uh, that is not right. My screen just got massively exploded. That is not right. My, if you'll excuse me, my computer had a wee bit of a panic attack when it was trying to multitask, so if you will just allow me one second to rectify it. All right, how is that for you folks? Better? All right. Everybody, everybody happy? Whomst has joined. Hello. Oh, that is, that is fun. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just setting up a new campaign. I just want to... This is about the difficulty level I made for the U48 campaign, where it's, you know, kind of grindy, but not so grindy that you're, you know, tearing your head open. Yep. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, welcome aboard. So, if you'll... Uh, sink the Tommies and anybody else who gets in our way, because this takes place in 1941, and this was called... The U-boat crews called this the happy time, because they were running out of... They were basically running out of torpedoes before their patrol ended, because the waters were... Uh, flush with ample game. You're not a proper Hugo captain if you don't have a beard, so. Well, then you, sir, have a... Sh should I do an eye patch, or should I do the badass Meerschaum pipe? Black or brown? Because I, I, I kind of like the black one because he's got kind of like a Nick Fury vibe going on. We're doing black. Okay, now where the heck? Let's... All right, I think this is a solid. Okay, what do we name this guy? Okay. Ha ha ha, very funny. Okay, what's it?
what's another what's a good German last name? Uh, How about Gunther? Um, Mira. Unter sie boot. Oh, uh, I started painting some more minis. I don't know if you saw it in the uh, chatty McChat, but this game, and I've also started playing Wolves of the Pacific, which is like an actual no-shit submarine simulator, where you have to actually understand the battle theory to play it well, like actually trying to track, it, like, target and try to get yourself on a path perpendicular to it, and actually um, getting your inputs right into the torpedo data computer. Because while this is a fairly decent sim, it's kind of micromanage you, whereas the other whereas Silent Hunter for Wolves of the it's like it's all pure submarine combat and I kind of like that so these are all single player you're talking about wolf pack that is an eight play you can do an eight, up to an eight player crew. Like you can have one guy on the TDC, another guy spotting targets and calling ranges and bearings. And... Yeah. Yeah. You can also have a couple of guys on the deck guns and anti aircraft guns. Yeah, it's like forty bucks and for at night, but you can't see the deck art. I mean the which is kind of sad because it's badass. I know, but I'm talking like... Let's see what uh, provisions we got. I'm going to skip the tutorial because I've, I've gotten a certain level of proficiency right now. We are... Oh, shoot. Um, hang on, let me just put on technical difficulties. Can people hear you now? Try talking, one of you. 
Greetings, everybody in the chat chat. Can you hear us down there in the Twitch lands? Yep, I can see your bars moving now over what, here, what too. What the so. hell is this? Is this Horton Here's a Who? Yes. I am both tired. I can barely remember the names of people I work with. Okay, okay. there we go. Okay, so I'm being joined by uh, Mr. Breakdown and Mr. Zazzy. Hey, Bully, I am the Breakdown, the one that brought you that cursed image in chat chat. And let me just quickly enable the third party overlay. Just call me Zazzy. Sorry, who was it? Captain Moxie. Oh, Moxie, whoops, sorry. Y yeah. They're private Moxie at best. Actually, a one. Now, if we want to talk about kind of ironics, let's just say if I ever became a general at any point in my life, as I tried to try and enlist, I would have the same rank talking? and name as a serial brand. You know, I'm trying to capture the third-party overlay that is the... Uh... Captain Crunch? No, nah, we don't need our little pop-up buttons that tell us who's talking, talking. Yeah. It's We're okay. joined today by Moxie, Breakdown, and our glorious host. Mr. Bunk. And let's see what we've got for the flag. Uh, let me just give us some more. You never can have, this is the high X, I mean, yeah. Let me get, get us some high X, because you can never have too much high X. Fun fact, oh. I still don't have a portrait to use for the Twitch shit. It would be fair. Oh, it would actually help if I hit play on the Twitch chat so I can watch. A uh, little, little bit. Give me some, give me some of that go juice for my diesels, please. And thank you. Now it's go juice. You gotta have go juice, man. What? No. Because Oops. if uh, no go juice, then uh, U boat won't go. Can't fool me. You have go juice for days. It's better. It's always better to have full tanks of go juice than it is to you know come up short with go juice. Please just give me the torpedo. Please and thank you. There we go. So we got this. We got this. We got this. We can always have some coffee. Please. 80 potatoes for free, that sounds good. And, uh... Yeah. Good old bully snake. Number two fuel oil, make boat go. Okay, and now we just pray we don't break anything, because we're... Actually, no, let's see if we have any canned bread. No, we don't have any canned bread. Oh, shoot. Um, and we're all out of potatoes, so I guess we're just gonna stay on the provisional Power struggle bus for a second. Something. Okay. Colonel Moxie? No, that's Captain Moxie. It is the official title for my, um, for my name in the Ox. Alright, let's see if that works. All right. Since this is uh, this is the happy time, and then uh, ooh, Southern Convoy routes. Interesting. Oh, this is like where we actually go farther afield, and we might actually have to call in the milk cows. And for those of you who don't know, milk cows are the uh, they're the at-sea replenishment ships for the Kriegsmarine U-boat fleet. 
Oh, and we also got the Gibraltar mission. Hmm. And that isn't good either. So, we're... so what should I do? Should I? Uh... Hey, Bunker, would you kindly share your stream on Discord? I am getting a feedback loop on Twitch. Oh, crud. Um. Yep. Nope. It's because I'm trying to be on this channel and at the same time watch Twitch, so I can watch chat on the phone. Let me just uh. Quick share you both with uh, with the stream in Discord. I don't know if that's going to yep. drop my frame rates or not, but we'll find out. Either way, doing all this while on the phone and always on the road is kind. Of, it's kind of jank. Yeah. Oh, because uh, for some reason, uh, Discord isn't picking up me playing U boat. And if I share the stream, <laughs> it's going to share the ob. It's going to share the OBS. And the Oxlandia broadcast service window, so that's going to be a really hell of a feedback loop, and I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Oh, uh, so. don't worry about it. You should be able to select individual window, unless it's full screen, in which case, like, not windowed full screen, full screen, full screen. It is full screen, full screen. So. God dang it. It's, uh, my setup do be kind of jank, but I make do, so. We're going to be, we're going to be going to the happy times. We just uh, make sure that uh, gyro compass is active. Dive planes are electric. We're all we're all set. We are in our... You're going to be our technical officer because you're going to be on the hydrophones quite a bit. Adding thinner fuel is illegal, but makes it go slightly. Faster at the risk of burning up. What it? What does that mean? Thinner fuel. Are we talking like the more refined stuff, like gasoline? Oh, like wait. literally, you you cut it. You add. Basically, you take bunker oil for an example, bunker grade one or whatever, which would be the shit you most likely use on battleships, and you thin it out with a lighter. Oh, you're talking about. This you're talking about navy black, right? Yeah. Like yeah, the crude shit? The yeah. Japanese actually used uh, less refined oil. And that's why their stuff burns so good when we hit it with the uh, bombs and torpedoes. Is because it was... Hey, let me just make sure the PDC, my torpedo data computer is... There we go. And I noticed, I found a new knob that you can twiddle. This one right here. I think it's like to control which direction you want your torpedoes to go. So When I'm I ready. I am messing with all of the settings on my end. To try and not have Twitch talk to me at the same time while on chat. So I'm just going to quick speed up the... Uh, our, uh... Would jet fuel count? Technically. It is jet, a very... Jet A. Technically, Jet A is very refined form of kerosene. Yay, it's finally working. Huzzah. I had to do some real jank. So I had to manually mute everything by closing Twitch completely, manually going into the settings and turning off all media, because apparently, with the headset that I'm using, it puts sound on a separate track. So once I got that set, I went back in the Twitch, and it accepted my inputs, finally. Yay. The joys of being a truck driver. 
Well, uh, isn't the face supposedly pretty decent? Joyous. Honestly, it's not anymore. Didn't it used to be, though? I mean, when I've been on road trips, like, when I've it visited my parents. It has its moments. It has its moments. Like payday and whatnot. The ability to actually go see stuff that I haven't seen before. But at the same time, you're never home. And you live like a gypsy. I would dare say being deployed is far more enjoyable than being a truck driver sometimes. And I mean that in just the logistical sense of the word. Oh man, I messed up my patrol route, but whatever. Nice box. Is that your uh, search pattern? Hey, is either that your search pattern or you're playing snake? <laughs> that is my patrol route. Imagine it. For every ship you hit and or sunk, your sub got 25% larger. Well, and it was scale a... size. There was a meme I saw a while ago that was pretty funny where it was, uh, it was a War Thunder meme where it was like somebody was playing a Luftwaffe plane and it's for al every allied plane I shoot down, uh, Gurring gets fatter. And he had like a, he was like on a twenty kill streak. It was hilarious, if I'm being honest. I miss when War Thunder was fun for me. Yeah, War Thunder used to be. Uh, I remember when we had, I had I had the Kingfisher, that little piece of crap plane. I before actually finished, or after it was removed. Before it was removed. I, oh, so I, you're I, talking like pre 2015. Yeah, pre-2015. I started playing like late 13, early 14. I picked the game up 15. I was full-time working at the tire shop in 17 through 19, and I was on it every single day with my buddies at a different Discord. It got to the point to where we were doing the Locust spam to the point where it wasn't fun anymore. Oh, that thing was... The Locust was actually legitimately terrifying. If you could get in point-blank range. If. And that is a if big you if. Can get under, yeah, if you can beeline it to your target, do not fuck around and find out. Just fucking run. Yeah, it can be scary, because you can't get underneath... Well, once you get underneath the gun barrel, there's nothing you can do. Except run them over. And even then, well, by the way, the game does its janky mechanics sometimes. If you run them over successfully, they can shoot you from underneath. But it's also extremely hilarious just watching you grind a locust into nothingness. At my best, I used to snipe at 800 yards on a norm with a 75. I'm not saying I did damage. I'm saying I could actually hit you. Oh, look. We have I'm found a little the... fishing boat. We need to uh, board it and make sure it's not uh, smuggling it's weapons Irish... to the ally. It's an Irish fishing boat. Hey, hey, the Irish whiskey is a form of jet fuel. I'm not disputing that. There is a 200 proof Irish whiskey. If it can... It. Yeah. Anything over 90 proof, I don't want to drink. Hell, my, my normal alcohol content is around 40. Why is uh, let me let me get that Everclear, one fifty one. Shit, I'd just rather have straight moonshine. Let's uh, let's have boats get on the uh, on the deck. What's uh, it's an Irish ship, so. Das Boot. Get, get some boys on the deck gun. Oh, I need that to get, go, of that. I need to get boats on the flat gun.
Apparently Some we of these boys it. have an impressive chin. Fun fact, chat, 90% of the time, U-boats or American submarines spent their time on the surface. Yeah, because you can't really... Uh... Primarily because battery power at the time. Oh! Oh, did you hit, or is that smoke? Nope, no, that was just... Oh. That was him just chucking depth charges. Can't have him coming back around. The mechanics for anti-aircraft warfare in, uh... The water's pretty nice, though. Yeah, the anti-aircraft mechanics in, uh, Silent Hunter 4, Wolves of the Pacific, are actually more interesting because you can use the, uh, twin fifties, and you've got, like, a 20 or meter at the front of the conning tower, which does work. Like, if you get a couple of good shots on something, you could just shred it, and it's it, it's dead. It is very dead. Captain, my captain, request permission to turn the boat 90 degrees to throw off their aim. Oh, there's another U-boat in the area. Someone said DOS boot. I don't know why, and it reminded me of the video from Vat nineteen twelve. Well, we are ago, playing as DOS boot, boot. Actually, we are we are sailing U ninety six. No, I understand that. That's like the whole point of the game. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's glorious. Just saying DOS boot reminds me of it. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but. Well, I was in a DOS boot situation last campaign when I was playing U-48. I was on the bottom of the scap of scap of flow with uh, outdrive systems and two compartments flooding. Yeah, but that that's what like you get big... for... And I think my medic yeah. was dead or in danger of dying, so... Where's this uh, little fishing boat? Okay, he's off to uh, port bow. Port bow. So, the left side of the bow. Yeah, he's off our port beam, I think. Captain, be aware the Irish potatoes are, in fact, fragmentation. And so are the American spud throwers. At times, when you don't have ammunition or frags on hand, throw, uh, throw spuds overboard. The people manning the deck gun will think it's a fucking fragmentation grenade. So we are closing to engage this tiny little, uh, fishing vessel. Because, man... You are, you are in fact, at war with the Irish. Don't make it so obvious. Well, they didn't pay their bar tab last week. Nor did I. I want to see what... We're... I want to get us closer. I'm just going to... I think I should throw some high X at them. Nah, throw some 75 H-E-O-R. High explosive object removers. One well, throwing, uh... I'm on like a 88 millimeter deck gun, about to throw some high X in their face, so they're not about to have a good time. Implying they're supposed to have fun? Well, our crew is. Well, I did it. Because they're not the ones getting shot at. Back yeah. off, you other U boat. Back off, you 559. This is my kill. 
if they surface shoot at him. Send one shot across the bow. Back the fuck off. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. I think I got them in the water line. Captain, your binoculars suck. <laughs> this is the gun sight. Oh, that's even worse. I didn't ask for these binoculars. Oh, damn! They were... Right in the pilot house. That yeah, time it looked moving. like you skimmed over the superstructure. Oh shit, where'd the boat go? <laughs> it's, 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 it's gone. One frame the boat there. Ten fifty. One frame uh... the boat's gone. <laughs> it's okay. The boat has now been repurposed. The boat is, the fishing vessel is now a submarine. Yeah, coral reef. It's been repurposed. So now we're just gonna... Going to, we're just gonna submer stay submerged for a bit, just to throw enemy aircraft off. We're also gonna You're slow down to get some on. battery. I love how your engines are just cutaways, just showing like the engines are moving, and they're just pissing, slapping away, having a good old time. So wait, Storm, when are you going to have me go through the orientation stuff? I'm going to have some crewmen assigned to him so that we have a more efficient use of our engines. Technically not, you said it. I never technically went to orientation with this group yet either. Oh, uh, is the boss man here? Just checked in to say hi. Ah, hey. Let's see, we has a breakdown and a moxalotl. Oh. Yep. You know, every the time breakdowns. you say that, I feel like a little bit of me dies inside. That's probably why he does it. It's okay. Axolotls have a lot of a uh, regeneration potential. Eventually, you'll learn. Unless That's they adapt axolotl. to live only on land. I'm not an ox axolotl. But you're my little moxalot. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Anyways, how you guys doing? Very good. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you heard it. Heard me ask this on the stream, but when when am I gonna go through the orientation type thing? We're doing uh, another round of the orientation uh, this coming uh, Sunday, so a week from today. Uh, what time? Because if it's anything after like. 4 p.m. I'm probably not going to be there. No, it's a uh, 1 p.m. Central, which I believe you're Eastern. No, I'm Mountain. Oh, okay. Then uh, for you and I, it's uh, noon. Yeah, so, I'm probably uh, going to be asleep. <laughs> our, he works uh, nights. We can go over it uh, uh, separately later if like, you aren't able to make the meeting. So our dudes are working on the torpedoes, making sure that whenever we do encounter something, they can... Oh, actually, that reminds me. I haven't checked my schedule for, for this week. Do I go in? I don't know if I, I think I mentioned this in chat before, but I actually built a model of U96 as she appeared in DOS boot, and I made her look like a right proper rust bucket. 
Because let's be real here, when was the last time you saw a clean Yubo? He's not wrong, yeah. but he is out of line. The day he left the assembly line and the day he was sunk. The fires of cremation wiped away the rust. All right, periscope deep. I was wondering for a while if you're ever going to level the boat off. Well, we were down at like 50 meters just for uh, just a oh, break detection. Gonna have him go on the attack scope. We'll have, I guess, uh, you go through the torpedo maintenance again. So what are the pings over there? Those show boat con boat contacts on the hydrophone. So I just made our torpedoes accept inputs from the TDC. We're gonna have our uh... torpedo top dead center. No, Torpedo Data Computer. It's basically what plots the firing solution for the torpedoes, so that way they can strike hard, strike home. And those of you who have a history of naval service, you will recognize that I just quoted the motto of the first nuclear-guided missile cruiser, the USS Long Beach. Uh, that's gross. I gotta go in at 1500. I still believe that the first nuclear sub should have been named the USS Nautilus after it was the uh, SSN so 571 was the USS Nautilus. And you can see her at the United States Navy Submarine School in Groton, Connecticut. Just so we're on the same page, I'm referring to naming the Nautilus as the first nuclear ballistic sub. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I there didn't know was that. a different sub named Nautilus. Yeah, the that first ever. That was a pre-war sub. Yeah. Well, why is it auto saving? I didn't ask for this. That is simply because there's a boss fight coming up. Let's see how many... Okay, so let me just... Uh, let, let, let's do some... Uh, let's do some quick maps here. Let's recenter the boat. Oh. Why did the why did the observation skip? So we are at zero. Our periscope is centered up. <laughs> so I need to be looking in general at zero nine five. What I've been I muted this, this whole time and just realized it. Yep, you have been. I'm on push to talk because I'm playing a video game over here. Come on. Like, go into scope a bar, traverse. There we ask go. Ask for a big chungus with extra keck and they get based. <laughs> I have no idea. Ask for a what? Means. A big chungus with extra keck to stay based. <laughs> no, and and make it based. <laughs> it, but, what that means is far beyond me. But that is a level of <laughs> irony that that bartender is literally going to lose hours of sleep over. Yeah, that it, is it, a subway quote that they'll look at you and go, "Sir, this is a Wendigo. Please leave." <laughs> Sir, I have no idea what the hell you are talking about. You have me laughing out loud right now. Kek, 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 This shit busting for real, for real. No cap. Shut, shut, sh no. You don't get to say that on the stream. Uh, I'm I, a, am I am actually a Zoomer, so yes. I, I am a Zoomer, so I have the license too. Good news, I've just changed the stream title. What is it? Bunk Burner oh. burns the bunks on his sub. 
So, I, I would have accepted Bunk Burner goes total meme keck. <laughs> Legit, but that would seem like we were sussy bakas. Well, we are. I, I, I hate this. I hate every moment of this. Sir, you are... So you are hereby invited to suffer. I already am, I, thanks to you. As a gentleman who's nearly 40... I understand everything that's going on. You literally just said I don't understand these references. What? That was in re reference to the alcohol, which I still don't. Uh, I, I could be drinking. <laughs> However, to room. everything like that Stormsong just said, I am tracking on everything. Okay, let's because start. I was a cringe before it was Oni Chan cool. I don't want to hear I, those words ever again. I do not want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we could learn Sir, you have a breakdown, Storm, senpai. Storm, is, this, <laughs> is this Twitch approved? Can we can we get a can we get Twitch Twitch over here? Twitch. Moxie san, this is in fact proper. I etiquette. am going to put a fucking jet into your home. <laughs> Why are you going to use that a it jet was, uh, against me when I'm using proper Japanese honor fix? I don't care. You're looking. You're talking mad crap for somebody with some uh, pretty solid-looking grid core that's there, my man. Oh, really? I'll be in a different grid zone in about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, the satellite-guided munition says what? That my GPS location is false because I can't even get a lock on my own GPS location currently. Just saying. Even with your phone battery pulled out, you can still be tracked. Time to break my own phone. And like I'm aware to... of that gentleman too. Like we're about to break your kneecaps for seeing. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are about to break his Nico, 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 Nico. I, I, I forgot it was the Nico, Nico, Nico. Dear God, you're uh, a curse. But hey, welcome to the Ox, where cursed is daily business and cringes everything we do. Okay, so, Bunk, what are you doing? You finished your patrol, now what? I, I haven't even gotten to my patrol zone. Where I just did decided all the lines go? Where did your snake game go? Uh, that was to intercept the uh, the little Irish fishing boat that I decided to troll. Troll as in troll? destroy. Troll with high caliber, high explosive munitions. Only two, yeah. No, three. Because of that one that missed. 30 millimeter isn't high caliber. I expended about 200 rounds of thir uh, 30 millimeter on that plane. Do you know what is high caliber? These prices! That isn't even hey, Storm, funny. That's just accurate. That's just accurate because of yeah, that's a harsh dose the economy. Of so, fun fact in 45, you could buy an Allison V12, the 1710, for $350. Okay, what am I going to do? Like, I'm spreading out my snake game a bit to cover more area. For context, the uh, Allison V12 1710 is a 26.7 liter engine, and it was the most common used engine in the American war system until the Packard came out. Speaking of Packard, my grandpa used to own a pair. A 180 Super 8 from 1940 and a 56 Packard Patrician. And for the Patrician, he actually made his own custom disc brake system because the drum brakes were actual were uh, less safe than, you know, disc brakes. So here he is, retired in the 1980s, in his machine shop, using uh, stuff that he got from a... I think it was an AutoZone, and he made his own disc brakes. For context, are we talking big rig or four-door sedan? Four-door sedan. We're talking, like, classic cars. Okay. I am not legible quite a bit in Packard, and that's one of the few places I am uh, lagging on. Don't I mean, talk to me about Euro cars because I don't have an interest in them. I, 
if I'm being re for real, I don't so really want either, a Volkswagen. The uh, though I will say that the Aston Martins, like the classic Aston Martin, James Bond drives, is like it's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous car. The right mix of sporty and class, it's just... Mm. Yes, because James Bond does not drive cheap shit. No, he is the... Uh, he is a Chad. He is a Chad's Chad. A if James... absolute Giga Chad, as it were. He is a Giga Chad. If James Bond owned a submarine, it would be the Nautilus from the animated and Finding Atlantis movie that came out by Disney. The first one. Oh, you're talking about the Ulysses. The yes. steam-powered submarine. That was such a good movie. Horrifically underrated. Though. And I oh, watched yes. it on, like, DVD. I didn't watch it live because that was... Didn't it come out in, like, 2002? I was barely, like, two years old. In 2002, Damn, I was in I was high school. Four. I was in high school. <laughs> yeah, I, I am like almost a year. It's almost the one year anniversary for me being able to legally consume alcohol. You say that right as I stop. drink, take a sip of beer and realize I'm old. Yeah, take another sip for me because I can't drink while on the truck. Pour one out for the homies. Oh, you guys are going to be the reason I drink the rest of this Huckleberry. I'm just letting my officers rest up because God knows they're going to need it. I want to take your grid zone and throw it out the window and instead input something like the pipes or the DVD logo that would constantly bounce up and down, back and forth. Oh no, the night clerk is as old as we are. Apparently he was also in high school during this time. All right, guys. Old. We are them who remember the PlayStation 2 as a new thing. The PlayStation 1 as a new thing. Yeah, but like when you're a teenager, it's different than when you're a child. Fair. When I got my first PS2, I lost my ever-loving shit, and I felt robbed at the same time because I did not know that the internet for the PlayStation system was free. I could have been playing Twisted... Uh, no, I'm talking like PS2. You said you lost your shit. Did you find it? No. Oh, very funny. That's part of the reason why I'm autistic now. <laughs> Lost his shit. Couldn't find it. Uh, great. It's, an, it's another fishing boat. Quite literally threw it in the ocean. Tried to go swimming for it, but I lost my glasses in the process. You say fishing boat, but I heard it with a PH and just imagined a lot of uh, bad oh, uh, faith behavior. It's, it's Irish. Again. So par for the course. Yep, we're, we're right by <laughs> Ireland, so. Can we run it over or hit it with a torpedo, please? Y you want me to do a torpedo run on something that literally cannot fight back? Yes. Just, just, just for shits in games. No, because I am your local SS officer and I'm demanding you do war crimes. I am your uh, German commissar. Ready to see what our angle on bow is, but once I get that, it's, I think it's either like, either run it, it over. I need to see if it's moving at all. Depends on what kind of fish they're hunting. I need to just let me just protractor it.
35 degrees at like 53.98 meters. Starboard bow. Oh no, numbers. Great, I gotta do math. Uh, I don't know how fast it's going, but I'm gonna say it's like fast. I, I'm feeding... That boat is one ten thousand. Sorry, that boat is seventeen thousand seven hundred nine feet away from your location. Yeah, we need to close on her a bit more. To convert it to yards, that is 5,903 yards. Uh, you are probably out of range. Yeah, this thing has... These torpedoes do not have great range. So. Yeah, that's because they're not the Japanese 20-inch, you know, long lance. To oh, be okay. fair, nobody had the range as the Japanese long lance. Just quicker. Where's yeah? When you want to fire a torpedo like a Hell Mary from way beyond visual range, just uh, ye from Japan and just and like and some just like draining threes. Yeah, just straight up launch seventeen torpedoes in that grid zone. Four hours in advance. Uh, fuck it. Just send them all. Fire and somehow, everything! And yet somehow score like six hits on the same damn cruiser. For context, this is the Gallipoli campaign. That was in Turkey, right? Yeah. Um, basically, it was the islands off the coast of Japan. No, Gallipoli was World War One, and it was absolutely horrendous. I'm thinking World War Two. Fuck! What was that island strait? The Turkish Strait. Gibraltar. Thank you. My brain does this sometimes. I have a severe bad habit. I will be pointing in the direction I want you to go. Driver, go right. I point right, and on occasion, I'll catch myself saying, Driver, go left, and pointing to the right. I just need to see how fast this little 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 guy is going. Feed that data into the TDC. He's probably going a grand total of eight. Yeah, that's like, he's not going very fast. If you want to go bucket, hit surface and just run him down. I am fire surface. on him. Just... Oh, you are surface. Ramming speed. <laughs> right as your ship hits air. Whamming speed is what brings us together today. I'm going to fire a pretty wide spread because he's a pretty tiny target. Whamming speed with Katian. Woo woo. It's an unarmed fishing boat. Can't you just pop it with the 88 on deck? No. I mean, I can, we, but this is funny. We did that already, and the commissar demands either you sheet it with torpedoes. Or you hit it with the whole damn sub. <laughs> Come on, damn it, hit. And this is why you don't set your torpedo speed to absolute maximum. Y you know what? Yeah, we're just going to pop him. We're just going to pop him. We missed. I want to save my torpedoes for something bigger. Before they wouldn't have even hit because the keel of the fishing boat is too small. 
Or too shallow, sorry. You're referring to the draft of the boat. Keel, yeah. that's the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, and yes. the distance beneath the surface is called draft. Well, keel. Whatever. I don't care. I knew what I meant. I popped him. There's a reason I'm in the Air Force, not the Navy. Mostly because he couldn't swim. You're not wrong, actually. Fun fact, Moxie, at one point, the Army had more aircraft. And on top of that, they had a lot more flying boats. Yes, I know that, because the Air Force is a derivative of the Army. Our birthday it used like to be the Army Air Corps. Yeah, our technical branch birthday is like 1943 or something. I thought it was in the 50s when it became an independent branch. Come on, stop rocking and rolling. Uh, nineteen forty-seven. September, yeah, September twenty-sixth, nineteen forty-seven. So not quite fifties. According to CFR.gov, it's September eighteenth, nineteen forty-seven. But yeah. Oh, boat go down. I just looked up USAF birthday. How many tons was that? Not even two. We managed to play this game, played this as a group using the board game version recently. Unsurprisingly, we died to mines. Have you tried even... uh, not hitting mines? Anywho, just checking in, saying hi. Enjoy your stream, guys. Yep, will do. I'll try to keep it. I think after this patrol, I'll. Uh... Call it a night. Does uh, work. Yes. Okay. We'll try For to keep the it sake of the funnies, let's do a heart shaped patrol pattern and see what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, I'm good. Yeah, okay, uh, for the sake of the funny, you say. Um, it's going to look like a giant set of triangles, but I'm a, I'm a trauma piss. It's 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 gonna turn out looking like a dick. Or you, cat ears. You, you can't do smooth lines in this game, which is kind of weird. But okay, I just accept it as part of reality. Captain, my captain, the boatman is drunk and he's have a heading called Uwu. So we locked him in the broom closet until he sobers up. This sounds like something uh, Mr. Tex would play at like the start of his stream. Instead of making a heart, we effectively made a fish. A very hungry looking fish. I shall eat the entirety of Great Britain. I shall eat Italian citizens. But yeah, you can see that U96's emblems are historically accurate because you've got the laughing sawfish and in front the raging bull. Am I about to get a mini fridge? Context? That was a random question there, Moxie. Should you buy a mini fridge? 
I mean, what Should are you going to use it for? Fucking mini fridge purposes. <laughs> what else? Oh, should I? I thought you said, am I about to? Oh like, well, yeah, I did. I asked, what am, am I about to? Bravo Fox 118. Where is Bravo Fox 118? Um... All possible speed to intercept might be something go. Congratulations, folks. We found the HMS Britannia. Yes, I do understand that at this point it should be sunk under the water. Is a real bad issue of being programmed. Convoy in square Bravo Echo 346. Just touching the corner results in a game over, which, if you're navigating the aisles of Scotland, is far too easy. Oh, yeah. The system's just kind of really unrefined there, I guess. That are just based mines. Yeah, listening to the radio is actually quite pleasant. Pitter patter, let's get at her. What are what are we pitter pattering? How's sinking the Britannia? Is that a question for me, or...? Oh, he's talking about me sinking the... Is somebody sinking the... Oh. I made I... the joke that you got a sighting for the HMS Britannia, which, at this point in history, should have already been sunk. Hmm. The USS Britannia... Or the HMS Britannia was built. What was it? 1909. Yeah, she was a. I think she was a dreadnought. She was a cruise liner, actually. Oh yeah, that's right. She was a civilian vessel that was built to house uh, military cannons in case the Navy needs to take care of commandeer of it. It was also the biggest ship at that point in time. Literally. It dwarfed everything else in the water. In terms of tonnage or actual size? Both. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, probably both if it's a Dreadnought class. Oh, probably my favorite British Dreadnought is the uh, War Spite. Oh, the Queen, the Queen Elizabeth class. Those were beautiful. Those were absolutely gorgeous ships. Fucking... Amazing. You need to go to the radio, boy. We need to bump our speed up so we can start charging our batteries. In, um... What's it? World of Warships, I know... When I first started playing, War Spite was a fucking monster. For whatever reason, its accuracy was just Speed, so much better than any other one. Thing. Uh, here we go. The HMS Britannia. First built... The first of her name was built in 1682. The one I'm referring to... Huh, maybe it is the King Edward the seventh class? Yeah, pre dreadnought. Then you had the King George the Fifths. Those were interesting designs because Washington Naval Treaty. 
Yeah, King Edward the Seventh pre Dreadnought class uh, predates all of this. The one I'm referring to is the Ironclad. The Portsmouth Duckyard, built in the Portsmouth Duckyard between 1904 and 1906, armed with four 12-inch or 305 millimeter cannons, two forward, two aft, and two uh, on each broadside. Oh, uh, check out the uh, Oregon and the Massachusetts. Those things were interesting designs. Like, if they swung the guns to full broadside, the ship would actually start to roll because the guns, the sum total of the main battery is like over a million pounds. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it's like, you know, you're a, America is still a relatively new nation trying to flex its naval muscle, and this was like the pre-Dreadnought age where everybody was still figuring out ship design. And then, if you want absolutely wretched ships, check out the French pre-Dreadnoughts. Just think anything from the French of that era. Because yeah, a lot of them were just shotgun effect. I mean... You got a design? Build it! You got a design? Build it! I'm actually kind of disappointed that the happy time is not living up to its name. Because all we've had is fishing vessels. Mr. Radio Man, if you would. If you would what? Bravo Fox 135, course 61 degrees. Slow. Try to make the best possible speed, get my engineer up here. Uh, I really hate this, but I kind of don't care at this point. I don't like that it's saving. Um... Okay. In factorial. One, four, six. Um. I ended up having to restart my game because having the ores all mixed up together was just not. Bravo Fox, one, four, six. I need to sink the Empire Lance a lot. All right, boys, here we go. Station, you're going to be on the observation scope once we submerge. You're going to get on the hydrophone, and you are going to start getting tuned to torpedoes. We are going to periscope deep. Once we get down, we are going to. Feindlicher 
Stirne auf. 12 Uhr. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Vielleicht einen Augen? Going on. We found something. You can find the Empire Lancelot, though. Looks like you're about to run right in the middle of the formation. Uh, Off gyro compass and dive planes to electric. I hope you're submerged. We are. We're at periscope deep. After this current encounter, I'll be going to bed, gentlemen. Okay. I want to see the torpedoes fly. Well, I'm or just going to... 54 degrees. Range of seventeen five. 